Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days Designs. It's Tutorial Tuesday and I'm back with another sewing project. Today we're making this handmade coffee cup sleeve. With just a few of your fabric strips and some cotton batting, it's a sewing project that goes together pretty darn fast. Decorate your own to-go cups with this cute little project. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or stop by the blog at debsdays.com to get the newest project ideas. And check out my Etsy shop, Debs Days Designs. That's where you'll find a written version of this project with the materials list and cutting measurements, step-by-step -step written instructions, color photos, and the printable template. My shop's also where you'll find my full collection of digital sewing and crafting patterns that you can download and print at home, making it easy to get started on your next sewing project right away. I've added links in the description below this video. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need fabric strips and a backing fabric, cotton batting, an elastic hair tie and a button, and the printable template. First, find the midpoint of the top of the long side of the batting and mark it. Place one fabric strip with the right side of the fabric facing up on top of the batting diagonally from the left bottom corner to the middle of the top marked point. Center a second strip on top with the right side of the fabric facing down. Align the raw edges on one of the long sides of the strips and pin them in place. And then stitch along the long edge using a quarter inch seam allowance and press it open. Place another strip on top of the last strip, right sides facing each other. Stitch along the long edge of the fabric strip using a quarter inch seam allowance and press it open. Place another strip on top of the last strip, right sides facing each other. Pin in place, stitch along the long edge of the fabric using a quarter inch seam allowance and press it open. Continue adding and sewing strips until you reach the corner of the batting. Then repeat the steps to cover the other side of the batting piece. Flip the piece over so the batting is showing on the back and use the edge of the batting as a guide for trimming the piece. Center the template on top of the piece and pin it in place and cut it out. Then use the template to cut out the backing fabric. Center the elastic hair tie on a short end of the quilted piece with the majority of the hair tie facing inwards and baste it in place. Place the backing fabric on top with the right side of the fabric facing down. Stitch all around the piece using a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving a space at the top open for turning. Trim away the extra hair tie piece and clip your corners. Turn the piece right side out and press it. Fold the opening under and press it to form a sharp crease. Top stitch around the entire piece an eighth of an inch from the outside edges. Attach a button on the end opposite the hair tie. Place the coffee sleeve around your cup and stretch the lube over the button to secure it. If you need a tighter fit, move the elastic past the button, twist it to cross, and then loop it back over the button. And just like that, just that fast, you have a unique way to decorate your coffee cup. See you next time with another project.